It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy. Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 289. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my equal host, comedian Noel Winters H. Hello. Hello. Um, Hello. We're here to talk about Teen Mom season two, episode six. I love this. I love that they're on break. I love that we get to talk about Teen Mom two, season two. All I want to do is talk about all I the know, episodes. But you know what I was thinking about when I was watching this? What? I can't wait to start on Teen Mom season one. Oh, Not like Teen, Teen Mom two, like OG. No, but it wasn't OG. It was just no. Teen Mom. I know. See, that was never my favorite. I could never talk about that and be happy. But I mean, obviously we will. But I love Teen Mom two. I've always been really? a Teen Mom two fan. I love watching Janelle. I just do. Yeah, I mean it's good. Yeah, she, I don't know. Just Macy and Kate never did it for me. It's not that. It's it's. It's having so much distance from it. Well, yes. Okay, I agree with that. But yeah, this is my favorite franchise, though. Teen Mom 2. Yeah, You've always been a regular Teen Mom slash OG girl. I don't know. I like them all. All right. We just like them all. Let's not discriminate. I'm not like you. Oh, God. I've never watched Teen Mom 3 ever. I did. I didn't. Well, you're not a good person. <laughs> um. If you want to hear more of that amazing banter, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you will find all of our bonus podcasts, including BS, where we're going to talk where about, we're going to do this, the fight of the century that we saw at the grocery store. We're also it's, going to talk about towels after the shower. Oh God. Towels are so good. The, fly, the fight of the century though. Really? So good. This will never, this should, <laughs> we should do a food, food emporium trash talk. That's what we should really do. Hell yeah. We should like send a picture. This is where it took place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could do like a true crime podcast on this fight. Anyway, <laughs> go do that now. Okay. Now on to now. our show. Okay. Teen Mom 2 season two, episode six. We're watching this on Paramount Plus, guys. So yeah. that is where you can find that. We're going to start off with Leah. I do realize that the last few episodes, not a lot is happening. Okay, I, I do agree with you. I think especially this episode. Right, was it was like a, a hurry up and wait kind of thing. Yes. So Leah brings home a cat and Allie has physical therapy and she's going mm -hmm. to a geneticist. Yes, and Corey doesn't want the cat either. Okay, so she brings home a cat and Corey said no and she goes, okay, yes. Yeah, she is the worst. Gross. So yeah. Corey finally goes to the doctor with them. Oh my God, my ear just shut off. I'll put it back on. You know, when your whole head just like hums. Okay. So oh, I just got blurry. Okay. You just did that. And you went out of focus at the same time. Yeah. My whole. Just got to stay still. Okay. There I am. Yeah. My whole head like hummed for a second. Yeah. I was crazy. Like the aliens took me over. Maybe they did. Did they watch this episode? Because they could do the podcast with me. Okay. Let them do it. <laughs> Who's the co-host now? Um. I don't know. I'm, I don't know the alien's name. No, I'm taking, I'm saying like, cause if you get taken over by aliens, then I'm the, do you remember when I was a pilot and then you were the co-pilot and then I'm the co-pilot, but All I'm right, not really well, the co-pilot. I forgot well, already. Guys, I told you my brain shut off. Her brain shut off. Okay. So, um, Curly has physical therapy at her mom's house because her house is too far and deep into the wood. But how far is she from her mother's house? That's what I'm curious. About, I mean, it must be wood. far. Yeah, that's right. Because they used to leave like the crack ass of dawn for school too. She's yep. always lived in the wood, in the wood. So, um, Leah asks the physical therapist if she'll ever be able to walk, and the physical right. therapist goes, "Sure." <laughs> She's like, "Okay, well, that's good." She wants to give Allie Curly a uh, splints. Yes, she wants yes. to give her splints. But uh, tomorrow is the doctor, the geneticist, right? And Leah thinks the splints are not so cute. So she's upset about that. Okay. I think they're adorable. Well, she goes to the doctor with Corey and they said that she might have a disorder. So right. they're going to take blood and they have to mm -hmm. wait four weeks. Right. That would, my head would explode. No, of course. So they cannot pronounce the syndromes. So it's camptomelic? I don't know. I didn't even write That's it down. I wrote that down. Yeah. So they go, oh, Camp Demelic dysplasia. Yeah. yeah. So they go to Dawn's to get an explanation. And it's like, okay. and they're like, is your computer turned on? She's this was like, before smartphones. It was before they had smartphones. I don't know. Do you think they had iPhones then? No. Yeah. 
Did they? Yeah, they so sure they did. couldn't Google them? What year was this? I don't know. 1970, apparently. That's what it looks like. It was filmed this long ago. It looked like it was filmed on my star tack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I got my first iPhone, what, 2007 or 2008? It's crazy that you remember um, those things. Teen mom. I go everything from my father's death. Uh, teen oh, yeah. mom. Good. Do season two. Let's see what. Uh, okay. Let's see what year this was. Uh, da, da. Yeah, no, well, it's 2011, 2012. They have smartphones. How does it look like it was filmed this way? It's MTV. MTV is so known for this. I can't believe it. MTV is that person that refuses to update their equipment. That is like, no, but my camera still works. And it's like, yeah, your camera still works. Yeah. But it's it only goes to like, you know, Atari. Tracy, that's crazy. Mm hmm. 2011 and you had to go to your mother's house to use the computer yeah she had to go to the she had to go to staples to print wow. something mm -hmm. <laughs> she had to go to the library to look for jobs yes sorry this is getting very <laughs> personal um and that's it that's all that happened with them see you see what i'm saying that was quickie wiki but the only other thing i have is they think her thumbs look displaced <laughs> they're so smart I'm like what yeah, that was it. Nothing happened with them. Especially well, do you think do you think that that's Oliva. what they think dysplasia is? Yes. They're like her thumbs look dysplasia. Oh, that's what it is. Uh-huh. All right. So Chelsea's been staying with her mom since her surgery. And her and Adam are doing so good. Staying with my mom. Yeah. And I have to move. I have to move. It's like, yeah, we saw this last week. I know. Well, that's the thing. We saw it already. We saw your wig already, too. Yeah. So she said that um, they're selling that, her landlords are selling the house. And also she wants to move because there's too many bad memories of Adam and Megan. You still hang out with Megan and Adam. Yeah. But you don't hang out with Megan the way you used to. You though. only let her babysit. Yeah, of course. So. Uh -huh. Uh, Adam will not be moving with her, right? Uh, just staying with her. But also, he's not going to move there because he doesn't want to, <laughs> right? But he's going to be staying with her. Yeah, of course. So he she is. dyed her hair blonde. So she's getting her hair dyed so Megan can babysit. She comes yes. out to babysit mm -hmm. in her zebra pea coat. Mm -hmm. Very cute. And um, okay, her hairstylist Kylie looks insane. Her hair looks insane. It's backcombed like with like a backhoe. <laughs> it is so broken it's very not good they did I, that all in one sitting very bad so um she said uh, that adam's so sad that she's going blonde okay adam's sad because he doesn't like you that's why adam's sad mm -hmm. yeah and he, he legitimately does not like her no he doesn't like her but i think that he just comes back because it's easy i'm yeah. guessing yeah because like he just does not like her at all well, she's she, very annoying, though. She has no GED. Mm -hmm. It's taking she, forever. But don't worry, because she does have a mullet. Okay, Tracy, she has a mullet. Her hair is broken off into a mullet. It's not even like it was cut that way. It was no, broken it was that. broken yeah. into a mullet. Well, mm -hmm. Megan and her don't really hang that much. She only lets her babysit, so that's good. That's great. Um, and Chelsea said that they're very happy together. Her and Adam. Could she tells Megan me. that. Do you remember what Megan happened? That. But do you remember what happened during your uh, surgery? surgery? Uh, uh, she doesn't remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this scene, her yeah. hair is darker now. Okay, that's what it I has wrote. dimension. Yeah, but I think that like I've noticed in all these scenes, even the next episode, yeah. her hair just keeps changing colors. Yeah, but it's yeah, every it's single weird scene. Mm -hmm. So I think what happened was um, Kylie did whatever Kylie did, and then yeah. she's like, "Thanks so much, I love it," and then she's like, "Let's try to fix it." Or she just gradually went blonde and they just refilmed some scenes. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So her hair is darker and mm -hmm. Megan is pregnant. Why is Megan pregnant? To get on the show. She thought she was going to get on the you show. You think so? Or is That's, that a thing? Apparently that was like a fact. Like she got pregnant because she thought it would put her on the show and it just didn't. It did not. So uh, I looked her up last night. Yeah. She has three kids. She's married. She's she not has... with her first baby daddy. Mm -hmm. The way she filters her pictures, like she has a new face. I can't believe it. I can't believe interesting. it. Interesting. That's very her interesting. Whole thing, like I didn't realize it was her until I was like deeper into it. Chelsea's like, um, what? How did you get pregnant? Were you on birth control? She's like, yeah, I went off of it. Yeah. So Chelsea's not celebrating. But what do you mean you went off birth control? Yeah, no, this was a purpose, baby. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, she sees Adam, but her hair is full blonde again. And he likes it, but he likes brown he, better. He doesn't care. Yeah. And she tells him that she's moving and that Megan's mm -hmm. pregnant. He's like, oh, who's the lucky guy? That sounds great. And she's sad for Megan, which, yeah, I get it. Of but course. Yeah, I was reading about that, that That's Megan really purposely got pregnant to get on the show. And then she did not. And they were like, no, thanks. We didn't want like, you. Oh, that's not how this works. Yeah, that's not how it works. She's like, do you ever think you'll have a team on three? And they're like, definitely not. Goodbye, Megan. Right. Bye. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about Kale. I love talking about Kale. It's Isaac's first birthday and she wants to have a party on the weekend. And she wants to take Joe's Saturday. Yeah. She is so annoying. Well, Joe is going to take him to Chuck E. Cheese on Sunday. Right. So Kale combs her hair over mm -hmm. she loves an emo look she it's not even an emo look i don't no, know what this is she and this was like her hairstyle like her signature her look. deep part yeah it's so her deep part she said mm -hmm. that there's going to be about 15 people at the party and she feels really bad that she's not doing a big party get over it he's never going to remember it right so her friend stephanie uh comes over right and she said that her mom doesn't even know where she lives and she now has a deeper comb over. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper. And she's got this tiny shard of a bang. She has a bang too that she, she combs bang. over. So her cousins from out of town come over. And she has no family though. She always says okay. no family. But you know what she's doing as uh -huh. people are, are getting ready to come to this party? What? She's baking the cake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's this is the what Kale is. That moment. Um. Mm -hmm. So she, she just hated waking up alone. Um, Get over it. So she's talking about Jordan. Mm -hmm. And she goes to pick up Isaac. And he's napping. And Joe wasn't home when she got there. Now, she's annoyed by this. And I got to tell you, yeah. I will be annoyed as well. You couldn't let me mm -hmm. take him the night before. I could only take him like a library book. I had to check him out of your house. Uh-huh. But you're never home. Yeah, but I got to tell you, she is so hard to co-parent with. She is so spiteful that I'd be like, I would do the same thing, though, if I was yeah, but, it, but it's like, also, Joe, where are you? What are you doing? He's in the studio, Tracy. Well, Kale dresses like a sister wife. This is what's happening. <laughs> yeah. This is what this is her she style. Is a sister wife. Her she signature is, style is auditioning to <laughs> marry Cody Brown. Yes. Yes. I have to agree with you on this respectfully. <laughs> She's like, Robin, move over. She loves a sister wife look. When I think about her now and what she used to dress like, I'm like, yeah. what? How? Now she is just, she is, Um, what is the name of those? She just wears like one of those pullover sweatshirts all the time. That's all she wears. That's right, literally but she's not she a wears. sister wife. She's not a sister wife, I think, because now she could afford a little better, too. Yeah, but this, no, listen, you could have a style right. no matter how poor you are. You know, I, I will say, though, watching this and seeing where Kale come from, it mm -hmm. really is pretty amazing. Like, she's had a house built. Yeah. Very successful. Like, I know. She's probably that, that the makes richest teen mom ex besides Farah. Like, I think that she's probably the wealthiest. Team Farrah mom. has no money. Farrah filed. Doesn't she fuck herself with a phone? <laughs> oh, well. She yeah, poops Farrah has for no money. money. Oh, I thought she had money because she pooped for it. <laughs> I can't take it. I actually but, can't take it. Yes, Kale, I, I like how successful she is. And yes. I it's really cool to see where yes. she started from to where exactly. she is now. So Mark comes to the party. Hi, Mark. Jordan got him Jordans. Go mm -hmm. figure. He Jordan's likes like, to get him Jordans what all the time. I, what, I get, what else would I get him? My name's Jordan. Okay, but here's the thing. He got him Jordans for Christmas. He got him Jordans for his birthday a he day looks later. He 12, how clean shaven he is, though. He's With cute. With his hair not that. I know. He's so your type. Yeah, he's my type. We he can is. get together, Jordan. Jordan, I know you're married with kids. But, but he like, only came else? with two pizzas. Two pizzas. So it was 15 people. Maybe the rest were in the car. He came with two Domino-sized pizzas. Maybe the rest were in the car. Then why didn't he bring them? Because he couldn't carry them all. Oh, he couldn't carry three boxes of pizza? There were 12 in the car. Two boxes Don't like talk this. about Jordan like that. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry he didn't bring Those were just pizza. the cheesy breads. Mm -hmm. Um. So now Isaac does his cake. He gets cake all over him. This is when I want to throw a baby out. Here's the thing. 
hate it. Glad that he's not mine, but it's cute to watch. Nope. I think it's actually vile to watch. No, I think that when he went like this, no. like the Home Alone kid, I thought that was uh-uh. very cute. Well, I think Isaac's cute in general. He is, but she cries and she brings him back to Joe's house and Joe is now in the studio. I can't believe Janet says this with a straight face. No, I know. I know. It, I've seen this happen so many times. So have you. Oh my God. So Janet tells her that she's got the letter. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, I got your letter. Yeah. Whatever the hell like, that yeah, was. Okay. And she's like, yeah, kill. You're a bitch. Yeah. And she's like, ah. and she, but, kill but she me. cries and then she doesn't apologize. It's like, I don't know what you, you thought that that was like a heartfelt letter. She did. You thought wrong. It's so weird because Kale just can't communicate with people. She can't like she when can't. people say a joke to her, she, she doesn't shuts understand down. it. Yep. Right. She can't just say, you know what, Janet, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Right, but also you thought that that was yes a gift. Also, why do you have to go head to head with everyone? So what? So Janet didn't agree with you. What are you proving here? So stupid. So yeah. stupid. Well, our favorite next. God, I love watching her. So she's fighting with Barb. She missed her deadline to enroll in school, so she can't go to spring college. Mm-hmm. He forgot spring bail to- college. <laughs> Kiefer got bailed out by his cousin and can't mm-hmm. wait to see her. Mm, they're going to go to Planet Fun. They're going to go to have a Planet Fun. But first, they have court for pot and breaking and entering. And they're going to meet at Planet Fun, which uh, is different from Frozen Planet. There's a place in Brooklyn called 100 Fun. Oh, really? And Frankie used to say, 100 more fun. Wait, 100 fun. 101 fun. One more fun than you. I don't know why. It's just something I remember him always saying. It was very funny. <laughs> so uh, she tells Babs that she's going to go meet Kiefer. And she said that she wanted to teach him a lesson by mm-hmm. not seeing him. But now she misses him. Again, stop with these lessons. Stick to your guns or don't do it. Well, um, at least she told Babs the truth, though. I will say that. I know. So she goes to Planet Fun and he's with his green hoodie. And she said, mm-hmm. quote, it's not like you beat me or anything like that. Mm, that's pretty much exactly what I watched. Not only did we watch it, that's what you reported. Yes. Mm-hmm. But what? now he didn't beat you or anything. No. Mm-hmm. Also, she always wears the same exact blue hoodie. Yeah. And he always wears the green because everybody mm-hmm. always talks about his green hoodie. Gr- Home girl hoodie. has on her arrow pastel blue hoodie every single day. I like it. Um, <laughs> so they have a toxic relationship and they're going to. Mm-hmm. She get she gets to meet with her lawyer for the first time ever. Oh, my God. This guy has been through the ringer with her, huh? <laughs> We get to meet Dustin Sullivan for the first um, time for the first time ever. And he said that she cannot get financial aid for college with drug charges. Is that I did not know that. Yeah, I could see that because they're they're trying to like discourage. Yeah, I mean, that's wild. I really didn't know that. Okay, so Mm -hmm. basically she's facing 260 days in prison, but he's going to ask for probation with drug tests. I can't believe that they were living in someone's house. That was great. Like low key like that. So she said that she did a pot a week ago mm, she and the pot. And she said, quote, how long would I have to stay clean? Mm, probably forever. Probably until uh-huh. you're off. How about how about stop? And then we'll talk about it. I'll let you know when you could do the stuff. Right. Who cares? Like get away. she cares because she this is her life. This I is know who she is. As a I know. Person. Well, she also doesn't have a life. That's the problem. So Mm -hmm. she goes to Babs and Jace wants to pick him up. Mm. He he's so cute. He breaks my heart. He is the cutest kid out of all of them. I know. I know. I look at him and it's like, I love his face. I want he's very. Yeah, I Uh know. He's very sweet. So Babs is like, well, Kiefer is done. She loves it. She gets such amusement out of it. She does. And she says, Mm -hmm. quote, don't lie about smoking the weed to the judge. (laughs) Just tell him you're on the weed because that judge apparently is like, we'll toss you away. Right. But she's like, Mm -hmm. you know, Janelle, don't even put your glasses on top of your head. She's like, no, she's like, Kiefer needs to tuck his pants in. Okay. What did that mean exactly? Into his butthole. Like keep them up? Mm -mm, Like tuck them into his butthole. Why? Looks cute. Oh, okay. Why can't she wear her glasses on her head? Because it's unprofessional. Okay. It's trashy. Good. 
has has she seen the ponytail that she's going there in her hair is just like this it's so bad well greasy she she picks him up at a fudge store oh my god i know i wanted to go i would be like tell me your flavors (laughs) she said that she's more nervous for him and she's like we can't go in together we don't like they don't want them to know they got there she's like so i'm gonna drive right up to the front door (laughs) and drop you off in the parking yeah so okay there's four snowflakes coming down Mm -hmm. he gets there and court's canceled i think it was because of the snow because south carolina north carolina like they don't get snow like they shut down yeah i think it's Mm -hmm. because there was a few flurries yes that's true they like panic Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he was like yeah no court's canceled we're gonna get a letter in the mail she's like what they really struck gold because i feel i'm sure they went and they got fucked up yeah of course they did and they were like, what? That was from the last week. Right. And they're like, well, we're going to get a letter. So yeah, we're we'll gonna know ahead of time when we yeah. have to go. When do we you get know, the letter? It's so funny because you think about it. You're like, New York, they would never shut court down. No. Never. Uh, we could have a foot of snow. Court is still happening. Five. That's why I was like, what is happening here? Yeah. Uh-huh. But what else? Guys, I have Guys. a lot of things to tell you. Okay. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is we have two other podcasts, Catfish Trash Talk and mm-hmm. 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Also, if you want our bonus podcast uh, and all of the content that's there, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you will find all of our bonus content. Follow the podcast at trash talk podcast on TikTok, teen mom podcast on Twitter, teen mom trash talk on Instagram. You could follow Noelle at Noe girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Check me out. Tracy That's where you could find everything podcast related in all of my upcoming shows. Uh, check out my road dates doing stand-up comedy and uh, come and see me. Go see her. Tracy Give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube trash talk podcast. Everything is right down there in the show notes and we'll see you next week. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.